And now the acting head of the Nigerian Commission, Esther Ariwa, has asked the Nigerian community to stay calm in the wake of the demolition of the structure belonging to the commission. Speaking to some angry Nigerians who stormed the demolition site, she assured them that justice will be served. I've been watching all of you everywhere. And all this program, listen, listen, don't, when I'm talking, I will allow you to talk, but when I'm okay, talking, talk, don't stop, stop me. Okay, Do you understand what I'm saying? Stop. Numbering over 200, they expressed their frustration over the locking of their shops by the Ghana Union Traders Association, Guta, and now the demolition of a structure belonging to the Nigerian High Commission. If you can close our shop for six and seven months, and the, the Nigerian government is not doing anything, and your country cannot open that shop and correct that mistake that Guta did, and how can I talk about the building if you can close about 600 shops? Why can't you destroy one building? You can you definitely destroy one building. So the government is not talking. They are not doing the right thing. So what's your point? My point is that the Ghana should correct all the mistakes. All what they should open our shop. Our shop is more important. We are suffering. As I'm talking to you, they are still going around closing the shops. It is not right. We are eight over citizens. We are Nigerians. This building being demolished, which proves to us that our shops that have been locked since over seven months is just a test case okay. to see if our government is working or if we truly have a government that is out to protect the citizens and its territorial rights. Responding to their demands, the acting head of the Nigerian Commission, Esther Erewa, asked them not to take the laws into their own hands. Nigerian government and the Ghanaian government over this issue and I believe it will be resolved properly. So please, maintain your cool. Don't go into any form of violence. Everything will be brought under control and justice will be served. Joseph Armstrong Good, Alobe TV3, Accra.